Welcome, one and all, to another edition of Cinema in St. Louis. Today, we'll take a look at the cult classic John Carpenter film, Escape from New York. The film takes place in the far-off future of 1997, inside the island of Manhattan, which has been converted into America's sole maximum security prison. In order to achieve the grim look of a dilapidated dystopian Manhattan on a budget, director John Carpenter had to get creative, as filming in the real New York City would prove to be expensive and overly complicated. He ended up filming much of the picture in our very own downtown St. Louis, which had just been devastated by the massive fire in the Heyday Shoe Building on April 2nd, 1976. The fire destroyed the building and quickly spread across Locust Street, leaving a wake of destruction in its path. What resulted was the perfect location for the setting of Escape from New York. Flash forward a few years to 1980, and the filming began in downtown St. Louis on Locust Street. The area was still in such disarray that it has been said that the locals didn't even hardly notice the destroyed plane that was used for the production. While the devastation of the fire has been cleaned up since then, with a keen eye you might spot some familiar sights. You might recognize our wonderful Schlafly Taproom building as Snake wanders through the flamelit streets, one of the structures that survived the heyday blaze. Another familiar locale is the beautiful Fox Theater on Grand Avenue. The theater had fallen into disarray over the years and had yet to be restored to the beautiful venue we have today, which made for a perfect fit for the film. The interior as well as the exterior of Union Station also made for a great setting for the famous fight to the death. Next time you walk through the majestic Grand Hall, you can imagine a wild, disheveled crowd cheering on Kurt Russell as he takes on the mighty brute, where you can now sit and have a cocktail. Finally, the exciting climactic chase scene of the film takes us north of the city to the historic Chain of Rocks Bridge of Route 66 fame. The hair-raising scene of the film captures what it was like to actually drive down that narrow corridor, barely wide enough for two cars, before it was closed to traffic in 1970. These are but just a few of the familiar St. Louis sights featured in this film. See if you can find any other recognizable scenes the next time you watch. Well, there you have it, folks. Thank you for enjoying another rousing edition of Cinema in St. Louis!